Matt here, Buzz TV. And what a great day it is. It's a product review day, but more than that, it's something, well, we've been waiting for for literally about 10 months. But it's here, and what is it? It is the Kodak PixPro Orbit 4K 360 camera. Oh, you've seen us. We're at CES in early January. Stop by our friends at Kodak. We saw this. We knew we had to have one, and they finally got it out on the market, and here it is. Well, let's open the box and see what's inside. Well, the first thing you're going to pull out here is your Orbit. That's right, your Kodak's PixPro Orbit 4K 360. So we'll open this little box up. Ooh, and we have another box. But more importantly, we have our Orbit. That's right. The Kodak PixPro Orbit 4K 360. This thing's gorgeous. Now, as you see, you have two sizes of lenses here. A nice big sucker in the front. That'll give you a 240 straightaway shot or a dome shot. You have this nice little one in the back, and that's going to give you your VR picture that's in 4K. So let's open up this little box and see what's in it. Well, we have a very cool little bag. You can put your PixPro Orbit in it. Attach it to your belt or your bag, keep it nice and safe and secure. You have a little cleaning cloth inside there, because of course you want to keep those lenses nice and pristine. We also have a fun little box. And inside here you're going to have your USB cable, a adapter, wall adapter, Let's see. It's a little Bluetooth remote control. So this is an ultra mini one. I love that one. That is just way cool. Well, let's see what other fun things they have. Because Kodak just is a great company. And inside our PixPro or Orbit box is a second box. Satellite accessories. Let's see what's inside. I'm hearing things. So, we have our battery charger. That's a very cool thing. That's right, the Kodak's PixPro Orbit 4K 360. You can get multiple batteries. We use them, so on our shoots, we might be shooting multiple bands. Boop, boop, new battery, you're good to go. You could charge it. But you could also charge your battery with the Orbit, hooking it up to your USB connector right in there, bam, you could charge it the same way or use your battery charger, whatever's easiest for you. Times we have them both going because we've got to charge all our batteries. Now, here's another housing. You could get your PixPro Orbit inside it. It'll fit multiple things, but again, like anything else, it screws right in the bottom of pretty much any tripod, and you're good to go with that. Um, we also have, let's see, a little tightening tool if you need one. A little ring that you can hold that mini Bluetooth uh, remote in, and other pieces and parts to make mounting on anything quick, simple, and easy. So we love what Kodak has really done here. They've hooked you up with all sorts of parts. Now they also put in a watch strap wearable remote control. This will give you the uh, ability to change your orbit from a camera to your video. It'll give you a rectangular picture or your dome mode. And again, you could record and check your uh, 
Bluetooth Wi-Fi signal. Again, this, like the other remote, is a Bluetooth remote. Here's a little ring that you could wear your remote on, on your finger, so you have the option of wearing this on your wrist or the other one on your arm. Let's see, they also threw in a little mini uh, selfie stick, which could be cool. We use uh, other things, but for free, I like free. And let's see, other than that, oh yes, they did throw in, in case you need one, And that's pretty much it when it comes to parts for this thing. Now working it's pretty much the same way as we worked uh, your original Pix Pro. If you're not familiar, familiar with that, your menu is right here on the top. Your power button's right down there. It powers on nicely. Boom, boom, boom. There's your screen. So you're going to have your multiple options. For us, make sure it's in VR mode. We want to be in the highest quality 4K, so that's where we are. We love this thing. So, let's go look at some other cameras, some other things, and show you why this is the camera you need to buy and why the other ones really aren't. Well, you've seen what's in the box. So let's take a look at the Kodak Pix Pro Orbit 360. Now, this is a little different than the original Pix Pro, which is right here. And with the original Pix Pro 4K 360, you had two cameras and you'd record, you would stitch together in their software, and for us, you wanted to make sure both of those record buttons pretty much went off simultaneously. Now, the remote, like you saw with the Orbitz remote that you could wear on your wrist, would work both cameras, but we had some issues and we just decided a manual go was so much better for us. But here with the Orbit, there is a difference. As you see, the front lens is considerably bigger than the rear lens. And that's because for things that you might want to do using a single lens shot, you're going to get a wider, like a 240 degree picture. Um, it'll work great for stills and things like that. Now for us, we use specifically 360, so we didn't test any of those things out, and again, that's because we shoot specifically in 360. Now, like the original Pix Pro, the Orbit has great microphones. Kodak knocks it out of the park when it comes to their microphones, and we get such superb audio having this thing right in front of the stage, center stage, we get no distortion, we're getting really, really good audio, and Kodak, they nailed it. Now, with the menu and the settings and everything, it pretty much works the same way as the original Pix Pro, but the Pix Pro Orbit, again, since you have one camera, um, you're gonna use the VR, the world settings, if you're gonna be in, in VR 360 mode. Now, we're gonna talk about a bunch of cameras right now, and there are reasons for everything. When we first started doing VR stuff, we've been doing it for almost two years now. When we first saw something we knew, we had to branch out and get into that world. And unfortunately, VR was still very new and there were so few options. The first option we went with was this little puppy, and this is a Theta S, it's made by Rico. Shoots in 1080p is the highest thing it does. Now, picture quality wise, it's 1080p. So your video is going to be that way and your stills are that way. And normally 1080p is not a bad thing, but in the world of VR, when you're uploading it, especially to YouTube, certain sites like to compress your video, which means your 1080 video is going to look like garbage. Um, furthermore, the microphones on this are horrible or at least for us when we're doing live music. It is just all distortion. So we definitely vote hands down for what we needed to do. But if you were maybe just taking pictures of the kids or this, want something that fits in your pocket, I'd say maybe, but the price tag's 350. And for 350, that's a little high for what little you're gonna get. So that's just where we started. And it was ah. Eh. Then we were lucky enough to meet with our friends at Kodak and they were very, very cool and hooked us up with the Pix Pro. And this is their 4K, the SP360, and this is their first venture. And what they started with was a single camera, 
and they saw what the 360 market was and the single camera gave you almost like a 240 degree but it wasn't true 360 you'd have it setting something like this um, and again it, you had no bottom half but Kodak was smart they found a way to incorporate two of their cameras with their software and gave you a full 360. And that's what we've been using for about ooh, a year, year and a half. And we've had some minor little uh, glitches or, 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 or issues where stitching the two cameras, you have to be right on with that audio point or you're going to get things that are a little tick off. But their microphones are so good and the things were just so good. This has always been our number one main camera center stage. So when you're watching any of our stuff, the main camera has always been the Kodak Pix Pro. Then we wanted to branch out into other stuff and move into two camera shoots. So we tried this little bubble unit here from Samsung. Now, it gives you 4K resolution. The microphones are air quality definitely something we're, we didn't use in our front of house situation and it's been our main drum camera and it works good for that we don't have a lot of issues with it um, but what we can say is unfortunately there's times we started the camera it cuts out it wasn't with us the only remote capability is with its app um, this specific camera is a Bluetooth part of it again it works but it's something that we used. It's nothing that's our priority, but again, we've tested a lot of stuff. Price point's about 250. It's okay, but again, we're leaving it at that. Then we moved on because we wanted to get into a three camera shoot. And we got the, the new version of the Samsung camera. And the reason we did that, well, you know, sometimes you get deals from, and we picked up a new phone and one of the promos were, hey, you could get this, that, or whatever, or one of these. And we said, hey, it's free, send us one, we'll check it out. This turns out to be the biggest pile of garbage that we've ever, ever had. Yes, it shoots in 4K. Um, again, the only remote capability is via its app. But you see this fun little fan here on the side that we had a rig up. Let's talk about this piece of hooey. Uh, uh, After about seven to eight minutes, if you're shooting in 4K mode, this thing overheats and shuts down. Sometimes, depending on the weather or the venue, we might get up to 15 minutes or so before it shuts down, but it will always shut down, and that's just not good. We did a lot of stuff. We went on message boards, found that if you get a little cheap USB fan and blow some air over the camera, it'll actually not overheat. Fortunately, it's in the viewpoint or the stitch point where you don't see it in any of our videos. But again, when you have to Mickey Mouse and rig something up like this to make your camera work, we're gonna go, no, no, no. Furthermore, when you call Samsung for tech support, it is the biggest nightmare in the world uh, pretty much I want to stick a hot poker in my eye, hang myself, shoot myself. It is more hassle dealing with these people than not. I don't know if it's because there's a little language barrier because it seems like I'm um, calling Korea or South Korea or that's where the 800 number goes or they're just not well versed on their products. I really don't know. I mean, literally at one time they told me that this camera I cannot use with their app on my Samsung Galaxy S8. While I'm talking to them on the phone, what they didn't know, I'm running it with that app and I had to say, you're wrong. Um, I could take a screenshot and show you, yes, it does work. So when you're telling them about their products, that should tell you something. Kodak, on the other hand, when we got the new Pix Pro Orbit 360, we're using the software, we were editing some video, and something just wasn't right. Emailed our, our friends at Kodak. They said, oh, no, no, we're going to have tech support. Here's our guy. We reached out to him, shot him an email. He asked to send a picture. I was like, hey, could you really give me a quick call? Within minutes, we had this thing knocked out. It was a user error on my part. Hey, Brad, do this. Click that. Oh, really? Oh, duh. Because the software was a little different than the original Pix Pro that we had software. Um, but it worked just fine. Everything is is pristine and clean 
Follow the link right down here, buzztv.ws. You'll see the shoot we did. We did something with uh, Salem's Bend. We have something with uh, Knee High Fox and Power Man 5000 coming up. We might be able to grab another shoot in there because we only had this for two weeks. Kodak was cool enough to hook us up. But as I said, when they uh, shot us out one of these, we used it and right away we knew this was such a great product. We were like, Kodak, we want it. What, uh, what can we do? And Kodak was so cool. They said, you have it, keep it, enjoy it. Um, and we love Kodak with that. And then again, we asked about the or the PixPro Orbit 360, and they said, Brad, we have some demos, but we're gonna get you to the top of the list. Shot this thing out. We got it literally within a week. Um, they were nice enough to give it to us for two weeks, and I'm pretty, pretty sure, in fact, I am 100% positive that we're gonna be asking Kodak, hey, how can we get one of these? We know uh, your, their demos are limited and other people have to get them, but we need not just one, we need four of these because we do a four camera shoot and there is no way that we are not gonna make every camera a Kodak PixPro Orbit 360. On a scale of one to 10, we're gonna give this a 15. As a five-star product, we're gonna give this five platinum stars. This thing is the best 4K 360 camera out there. Now, there are higher-end models. There are some that cost up to $60,000 that are quote-unquote full movie production models. And yeah, that may be so. But if you're doing stuff like us, and we're doing multi-camera shoots from, from bands and music venues, we're doing stuff from live conventions. In fact, we'll be at CES and we'll be visiting Kodak very, very soon. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have the, the PixPro Orbit will be our 360 camera we'll be bringing around, so we'll be shooting them at their booth. But things like that, NAM, the National Association of Broadcasters Convention. So we're all over the place, and this is the perfect camera to do it. Splash resistant, it's not waterproof, don't throw it in the pool, but if it gets wet, some raindrops hit it, it's not gonna cook it, it's not gonna fry it. Um, the thing is just great. We can't give this a better rating than we are right now. The product is just so superb, the microphones are there, and for us, that's the biggest thing besides the pictures having pristine audio. Kodak, you knocked it out of the park. There are reasons that sometimes it takes a little longer to get things to market, but that's because you want a product like this, that when you use it, everything works, everything's great, versus having a product like this, where you gotta hook up a fan to blow air on it so it doesn't overheat and blow out in seven to 12 minutes. Um, Kodak, you have just nailed it. Again, guys, if you're looking for a VR360 camera, something where the price point's great, 450. 450, you're getting one of these. Now, remember earlier, we told you we dove in the market and the first thing we got was this thing that only shot in HD, or 1080, that's right, 1080p HD, 350. Getting one of these and they're 450. Let me tell you how good Kodak is. The original price point for the original Pix Pro, and you needed two of these, was 899 because you had to buy two cameras to make it work. And Kodak did listen to everybody, and that was one of the big things is, hey, we gotta get this in a single body unit, other guys are doing it, and Kodak listened, was able to redesign a product, get it out there, boom, 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 quick, but made sure that it's fully functional. So again, Kodak, you have a five-star platinum product on a scale of one to 10, we gotta give it a 15. Out of any product we've ever, reviewed this is truly the best product that we've ever ever reviewed not just picture quality but total quality overall and again when you get that customer support from Kodak where you could email them and they're gonna get right back to you and if you really need that that one-on-one -on -one thing they'll find a time and they'll get someone to give you a call you can't ask for anything better product support overall product quality picture quality, sound quality, A plus on every scale across the board, and a price point that just blows it out of the park for what you get considering there are other cameras. There's, let's see, Nikon makes one, didn't even want one of theirs, we heard reviews on that. Um, there's a few others out there, and uh, you know, we've tried the ones that, that are good, We've got the best ones out there because we deal with the only company that you should deal with, and that's Kodak.
So again, starting with the original Pix Pro, but now the Pix Pro Orbit 360s here, you get to Kodak. The link is right down here in the description. You get to them, boom, 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 click, click, click. You can get one. You could also find them at all the other great spots. You can get them, B&H Photo has them, Amazon has them. So there's so many places. You just get your hands on one, and we guarantee, once it's in your hands, you're gonna be like us and go, wow, this is the best thing ever. Kodak, you really, really knocked this out of the park, and we thank you. We can't wait, because we know we're gonna get our hands on a bunch of these things. For us, for Kodak, the Pix Pro Orbit 360 4K, Buzz TV and our product reviews. We're out of here, guys. See ya.